Good morning, good afternoon and good evening. It's Lee from Magnetic North Adventures and today doing something a little bit different I'm going to be going on a cliffside walk in Matlock, uh, Bath, Derbyshire, England. Uh, it's an area I've never been to. Um, I've been past it, I've been around it, I've never been along it. Uh, it is quite a high area with a, a 300 foot drop um, vertical down the side of it and uh, there's evidence of old lead mines in the area and they date back hundreds and hundreds of years so I'd quite like to explore that area and uh, I do suffer with vertigo but there is a, a small handrail along the edge uh, the weather conditions are nice and dry it's not windy uh, the ground appears that it's going to be safe so I'm going to go and do that one for you all and uh, bring you something a little bit different dubbed one of most dangerous walks in Derbyshire it's uh, two and a half miles in length and uh, there's excellent views over Matlock, Matlock Bath area. So we'll see what we can do and I'll show you when I get nearer the area. Right, so I've made it to the edge of the area and we've already got warning signs as here. Sheer drop, keep back from the edge. So this is the path I'm going to take up until the edge known as Giddy's Edge. Um, I may be able to do it, I may not be able to do it, but we'll see. So you can see this pathway here is well walked, it's quite worn, but uh, I'm, I'm told there's some beautiful views up here. And uh, I'd quite like to see them whilst I'm in the area. So, as soon as I'm at the top of the hill, I'll do a bit more videoing. So on the footpath, you'll see this on your left hand side. And uh, that's Ryber Castle up there. It's a, a folly for a stately home and uh, dates to the 1800s and uh, formerly there was a zoo up there as well closed down many many years ago and it's said that that's getting redeveloped into private flats and houses so turning back onto the footpath this is what we, we see here Um, going up to the top of High Tor. And that's the normal view from the castle view. So we'll go up there. Uh, I might have taken the wrong path towards Giddy Edge. But if so, we will do the High Tor one instead. We've just come to a viewing platform. And over there. We've got Matlock and uh, this is the area in between down there currently 255 feet below me and um, I'm well away from the edge but even now I'm getting to a point where I'm actually feeling quite sick and I'm reeling a bit. It is a hot day, but I've got plenty of liquids with me. Uh, I am taking my time. But uh, if I still feel this way, when I get to the very edge, it's not going to be possible to continue on that particular area of the walk. But nevertheless, I will do what I can for you guys and girls 
and uh, let's just enjoy the day. So this is coming up to the top of High Tor, just up there. Um, got Gulliver's Kingdom over that way, and I'm told the Giddy Edge Path is actually down the side of that. Um, so I've definitely missed the turn off to it. Must be down here somewhere. But if that's the case, then I will just continue. I will do the high tour walk, what I'm currently on. And I will show you the old lead mines in the area. Things like that, tell you a bit about the old industry. And uh, we'll go from there, really. Uphill, Matlock there, behind me. Absolutely beautiful place. If ever you come to Derbyshire, put Matlock and Matlock Bath high on the list of agendas of places to see. Such a beautiful place and full of history. And uh, there's mining in the area, there's evidence of Roman finds and lead ingots. So they've definitely been mining local lead around these parts and uh, into the medieval times, 1200s to 1500s, lots of churches built, lots more mining. And what they're mining for is lead and later on fluorite. And uh, this area once, 290 to 330 million years ago, was at the bottom of a tropical sea. There's evidence of volcanic lavas in the area. There's other minerals. And uh, it's absolutely amazing. You can see why it would have been a very important area through time. And uh, sorry, I'm a little bit out of breath. I will stop to rest in a second. Um, I put a coat on jumper pull over just because it was fresh this morning but uh, now that was a mistake so but I always carry a coat anyway so we've got a history board here it tells you the actual history of the area If you want to read that, please stop and pause the video. Oh, this is where I am. Down there is Matlock Bath. Matlock up that way. So we've got... more uh, lead mining. More history. So there's still many hundreds of shafts and levels which enter the old mines in the area. So we've got to be careful. The old steps and stuff to the area. And uh, on the top of this plateau, we've got this beautiful grotto. People's often sat in there. I've sat in there myself in the past. It gives a nice bit of shelter. Beautiful spot to have a, a picnic. So we've got a walkway going down the side here. We've got this walkway that comes around here and then along that way. So I'm not sure which one I'm going to take, but um, I'm going to go up the steps and I'm going to show you what's at the top before coming back and taking one of those other routes. So, uh, I do believe that this path I'm on now is taking me 
up to the extreme point of high toe which puts us 300 330 feet above the valley below us yes it does so this is the high point of high tall uh, I'm not going to go near the edge but this is the view so just across there behind that woodland just up there you've got the remains of another mine and uh, just over there you've got Gulliver's Kingdom cable cars they can be seen just there now there's lead mines all over that area as well and uh, there's volcanic lava that's been found over that way lots of limestone limestone fossils with shells and coral and uh, sea ferns, sea lilies, that sort of thing so it all proves that this was definitely underwater at one time uh, but yeah you can just imagine lots and lots of people over the years sat up here having picnics enjoying the view seeing Matlock over there uh, and this area is known to have been industries, mills, making cloth and uh, other things like that. But I'll just take a couple of steps just so you can see how high we are. But yeah, I'm going back uh, again. I'm feeling very, very woozy and... Uh, I've decided right now at this very point I will not be continuing on to Giddy Edge itself which uh, is going to be down down this path here I do believe uh, but as we're here I'll go to the edge of it and uh, go from there unless the path is really stable and then I can go along it but you can see it widens out a tiny bit here right so that path at the side is an unofficial path it's clearly the one that would have met at the bottom and as I was going to go along that path well, that literally means that I am literally walking this way. Um, just down here. Got the remains in that trench of an entrance to a mine. That would have been an old lead works. Lead is known as galena. And uh, it was a very important mineral at the time. A lot of people were using lead for church roofs, things like that, pipes even. And we're here, we've got another viewpoint on this lovely bench. So, that's walking over Matlock Bath down there. Down that way. There we go. Such an amazing area. And uh, this area, locally, uh, in the older days, in the 1700s, 1800s, was known as Little Switzerland because how beautiful the area is. And uh, the small cliffs that mimic some of the valleys over in Switzerland and that's how it's got its name and uh, I'm gonna go along this route here 
and uh, we'll just see where it actually goes. There's obviously a lot more warning signs. So, yeah, that, that's the edge. So we're just going to keep this way. And uh, thankfully, as I go further down, there's some tree cover. So that's going to prevent from burning. I do have sunscreen on today. Um, temperatures are unknown, but it's certainly very, very warm. So if you are out and about, whatever you're doing, always make sure you've got plenty of water and fluids. It's an essential thing to keep yourself hydrated no matter what. Just here, there's the remains of where shell fossils have been. They're like clam shells. So even all the way up here, there's evidence the fossils and as to say they are very early in date so I'm walking at this side path here and that's the main path now I've just noticed something folks right here right here look I'm at the end of Giddy Edge one way system uh, and this is the no entry point so this is the end of it so I, I've missed it it's down there but um, just go have a quick walk up uh, just so you can actually see the actual edge itself So we've got all this limestone rock and there's Giddy Edge itself. It's very steep down there. At least the path at this section towards the end is quite wide. So that's Giddy Edge. I'm going to walk along a tiny bit and if I see anybody coming then I have to turn back round but uh, at least we're on Giddy Edge As I say I won't be doing the whole walk but uh, we'll at least show you some of it So we've got more warning signs there And uh, that there is the edge. And uh, I won't be walking that one, walking at it, because it goes right around there along a big drop and that big cliff face. So this is as far as I can go on the edge, unfortunately, folks. So I'm going to turn back around, um, but yes, basically what you've got up there, just up there, goes up and then you have to go around that tree, hugging onto the cliff and around that very end, up there, definitely not for me. I'm going to take a few steps back. Right. So, yeah, that that's gonna be where it is. This is where a bench used to be, now gone. Um, but at this point, I mean the last 50 to 100 meters of the actual walk. Uh, sadly, due to having vertigo, this is one that's going to defeat me. It's not ever going to be walked by myself. The main thing is, 
I've been on the edge of it. Uh, I've seen what it's like. And uh, I've managed to show you all what it's like and how dangerous of a walk it is. So you can see why it's listed as one of the world's most dangerous walks and also not for the faint hearted. Um, it is 300 to 330 feet above the valley. Uh, I'm told there is a handrail on some of it, but not all. But if you was to do that particular walk, uh, take extreme caution and extreme care. There's a bit about the history. So, a bit older than I thought. It's 290 million years up to... 350 million years and this is the bottom of the walk it tells you there mine shafts deep and narrow paths and that's the entrance to the site from the bottom well I hope you've enjoyed that little history walk tour um, not exactly the one that I was initially planning but nevertheless I've managed to show you lots of places, lots of things. Places that most people would never ever see. And uh, I hope you've enjoyed this adventure. Now, I'm going to do a shout out today. I'm going to shout out Maddie's Nifty Creations. Uh, she's on Facebook and on YouTube. Uh, please go and check her out and check her website out. Lots and lots of amazing products. And uh, she's based in the United States of America. Definitely an artisan that has skill in what she does in making clothing, accessories, poker chips, things like that. Um, they're all on the website. Uh, she does do worldwide shipping as well. Um, but yes, uh, that's today's shout out. Please go like, subscribe and comment. I have got a magnet giveaway coming up very, very soon. And that is going to be as soon as I hit 1500 subscribers. I'm eight away from that. So I will soon be doing that giveaway, which is worldwide. And um, basically I have actually got a limited edition batch of Magnetic North Adventures stickers in blue and white. There is only a hundred of those made. There will not be any more of that colour made. It is solely a limited edition batch to celebrate nearly getting to 1500 subscribers. So I'd like to thank you all for joining me on the adventures. The magnet fishing, the walks, the history tours, the bottle digs and the mud larks. And uh, if it wasn't for you all, I wouldn't be able to do all this. So uh, I love the walking and exploring. But you all give me inspiration to keep going and keep providing content for you all. So again, thank you everybody. If you do want one of those limited edition stickers, please log on to the Facebook group page Magnetic North Adventures and comment on the post uh, about the actual giveaway if you want to enter that one. All you have to do is screenshot the two channels that's mentioned saying that you are subscribed and that's showing support to my friends in the community and that gives you between one and two chances to actually enter for the magnet giveaway and if you want the limited edition blue and white sticker which I will show in the video again head over to the Facebook page and uh, simply drop your name as a comment or comment on the post 
and the first hundred people will instantly get one of those special limited edition stickers and those was made by davestore.co.uk please go check him out as well he's got excellent products and uh, all at affordable prices and uh, he does merchandise in the UK and uh, they're the two channels that I'm shouting out davestore.co.uk and Maddie's Nifty Creations UK and America right folks I'm going to say that's it for today thanks for watching until the next time bye for now everyone